All right. Henry writes, I saw on Facebook someone put a turbo on a TR1 Superjet. Thoughts? And my coworker says stand-ups are the dumbest vehicles of all time. Anything you want to say to him? No, I don't I don't care. <laughs> so uh turbo super jet, great. I just think the hull is limited. I know the powertrain can do it, but I believe the hull is limited in that sense. So if the hull can do it, great. I don't I mean again, I'm not out there testing. So the guys who test, they know how to ride. They're good stand-up riders. And if they can get that super jet to be competitive, hot damn, more power to them. I'm excited to see it. John Hill, I added a little boost to my 21 super jet. Thanks, Chris at Pro Water. Oh, hey, okay. Well, okay. If Haggis is involved, then Haggis has been working on that system then. Because Haggis is no fool. That dude, that dude knows his stuff. All right. Uh, Chris at Pro Watercraft for the turbo to add a little boost. Thanks, Adrenaline Racing, for all the fab work. Did not test yet. Water's too cold. Yeah, he's going to be taking some water samples, dude. All right, let's bring it up on the big screen. Woo, what a clean install. Here, come on. Come on, work. Here we go. Boy, that turned out nice. That turned out really nice. I just hope the water ingestion... Well, he's got a... The filter, yeah, I, I can't doubt Chris on this one because Chris knows his stuff. So I, I'm intrigued to know what kind of filter he's got, the pre-filter. Hopefully it's a water wicking pre-filter. Um, but then again, the engine compartments have been staying pretty dry from what I understand. So most guys are pretty satisfied with the super jet sealing up really good boy that's gonna be a beast -hoo 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 -hoo. boy that's gonna be a beast that'll be neat wastegate and blow off valve that's awesome how tight is the battery to the exhaust pipe oh oh well, they might have moved the battery okay yeah henry thanks for the link man that looks awesome Question, do you think Chris changed the internals on the TR1 to handle the boost? I bet you he did on his, because Chris don't leave nothing alone. Chris makes custom motorcycles, too. Chris is a sharp dude. He's been racing stand-ups for 30 years. The guy knows what he's talking about. You know, the guy lives, breathes it. This is his religion. So Haggis, is, Haggis did not leave any stone unturned on this one. So I don't know, have any numbers on it. I have no information. This is the first I've ever seen of this. So... um yeah, sorry, I just don't have more to share on it. Uh, just by outward appearances. Um, I'd love to see an intercooler. I'd love to see a little bit more. There's your exhaust, there's your pipe. Yeah, I wish I saw some of this stuff outside of the ski. I'm curious. Well, look at the pipe. Okay. Pipe goes right in, runs out the other side. Okay. Okay. Yeah, guys, this would be trick. Can you imagine riding that thing? I don't think an intercooler could fit. It depends on how small the intercooler. All right. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.